Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about the best surveillance now solutions to buy at the end of 2018. So if you've been considering buying a network attached storage device now at the end of 2018 there must be a myriad of reasons why you've been considering buying it but a number of you out there have been buying network attached storage this year, the last year and the years before it for surveillance that is a storage area where you've got multiple cameras or mics or whatever stuff set up around your home office or any business really that's recording for insurance or security purposes now it's not new utilizing a NAS in the field of surveillance in fact long before Synology QNAP Asus Store WD anyone really got into supporting surveillance NAS NASs were used in one shape or form in surveillance lots of third-party applications were out there that were connected to a bunch of cameras like the software that comes with an IP camera when you buy it Eddie Max, Hick Vision, Rio Link, any of them and then that software has to send all that recorded footage somewhere and all too often it went towards a DVR or an N VR um, and an NVR is just a NAS with a different name on it, a network video recording device where all that footage is going towards it. And what happened was a few years ago, the big NAS brands thought, Woof, we should get in on this, and so they did. They released their own surveillance software, and over the years, it has become an incredibly impressive platform that a number of these brands have been very, very proud of. Now, they all seem to have very similar names in the name of Surveillance Station, but they've all come up with their own spin and version of it and all of these great applications that you get for it so what i want to talk about today are the top three desktop NASs to buy for surveillance use there are some parameters first and foremost just because this is the list for 2018 i'm not just going to focus on NASs out this year one because that's not fair judging only things that have been released this year up to a certain point and two it is all too often the case that some new NAS that's come out, some untested hardware or some new kind of hardware, isn't as good as some from the previous years. So I'm opening this up to the best NASs you can buy now in 2018 that may not necessarily have been released in this year. Some have, some haven't. And moreover, I want to pick a desktop NAS because it has to be something discreet that you can hide away not some bloody big rat ant you keep in a server room. These have to be network attached storage devices that are affordable for what you need, that arrive with that software, and are in desktop form. Now, there are other parameters to the perfect surveillance NAS system. I'll keep it very, very brief. Firstly, 24 seven recording and access is important. You don't just want to record from those cameras, you want to access the footage live simultaneously when needed. You don't have to watch it and then turn any recording stream coming off, so that's important. Next, be able to access the archive footage as quickly and efficiently as possible. And then again, we'll get to that later on, why is one brand or one NAS more specifically targeted for that than others. Targeted alarm systems so that it isn't just about, oh, there was motion, let everyone know. How do they let you know? Where do they let you know and to what devices and way that you find out SMS, text, call, email, notification, push notification, whatever. Next, features of smarter cameras not just some brainless webcam but ip cameras that you can buy from these big brands and all of their software and hardware built into it make sure your nas can use those features and not just ignore them and just see a still camera so it's good to know things like pan tilt zoom night vision motion detection heat vision these sort of things are carried over to the nas um link uh, linking between um a nas and existing security systems is also very desirable where you've already got things like alarms and secure doors that you want to synchronize this nas and its software to i'll be i'm pleased to say that all of the nas software we're going to talk about today and the hardware that it arrived with has very support of that feature and functionality and lastly, customized retention policies. And what that means is you're recording for X amount of time. The last thing you want to do is run out of space. So you have a customized retention policy where data is kept for a certain period of time and then overwritten. And therefore, you never really run out of storage space because after a given amount of time, 60 days, 90 days, or a quota of storage, once you hit that retention ruling, that policy, it will then start writing over the oldest data from the beginning and effectively giving you unlimited recording time and space in a way. So without further ado, let's talk about the best NASs for surveillance to buy in 2018 here in the end of the year. In first place, it's a six bay NAS from the guys at QNAP, the TS653B. Now this device arrived with some great hardware potential and up to 60, or sorry, 84 terabytes of overall um, potential storage 
pre-raid, and that is for around 640 quid for just the unit, and that's without that and without hard drive media. The device itself can support up to 40 cameras simultaneously, and that's with between four and eight camera licenses included, depending on the software you choose. So you can use your own third-party software and just send all the footage to the NAS, or if you use the first-party software, then you've got Surveillance Station and QVR Pro, the more enterprise-level version. Now, this software is great. It's a little, it's got a bit of a learning curve compared with other um, NAS Synology, um, software I'm going to talk about from Synology, but it does give you a lot of enterprise features in your surveillance needs. On top of that, there's mobile apps that support lots of applications as well as surveillance as well. And I'm pleased to say they do have an app that you can um, access both applications of surveillance respectively. Also, you can connect a USB camera to the QNAP NAS and then use those um, cameras as well in your surveillance. You can use a webcam connected to the NAS directly to partner up with all of those IP cameras mentioned earlier on. On top of that, it's got a great CPU inside, the Solera on there, the J3455. It's a quad-core CPU that really keeps things moving with between 4 and 8 gig of memory. So this has got the hardware to back it up. What makes this one interesting is this arrives with a few features that a number of other NASes don't. It arrives with an HDMI output and USB ports that can be used for either external storage or peripheral devices such as keyboard, mouse, control decks and surveillance joysticks. And with the NAS being able to directly output to HDMI as well as the network and the internet, you've got a standalone surveillance solution where you can connect to, pop it on any desk, keyboard, mouse, monitor. You've now got access to the entire control deck and camera feed across multiple cameras at once on your QNAP NAS and still have access via mobile phones, uh, laptop devices and any PC over the network or the internet simultaneously. It is a great app and a great piece of hardware kit and with six bays of rated storage so you've got plenty of room to keep those archive recordings and at just over 600 nicker this is a good device and it's why it's my favorite one of the three we're going to talk about today but we've got others so let's move on in second place we've got the Synology now before we you know just address something straight away this has very similar internal hardware to that QNAP we just mentioned same CPU same memory pretty much after that everything's different because this is a device that is geared towards network and internet only access and I would dare say that the software on this is even better. So if you're not seeing the use of HDMI output and a standalone surveillance solution with keyboard, mouse and monitor, and you are looking for something that is network only access where you can store the device in a loft, in an attic, in a cupboard somewhere, this is the one for you. Now this device has only got four bays, not six bays. Um, so you've still got that RAID amount of storage, but you can expand by adding a further five drives with the DX517. The reason I'm picking this Synology NAS over most Synology NAS is because, quite frankly, they're all very similar in this field, is because of what you get for your money and the output. Because it arrives for around 430 quid, so 200 quid or more, less than the previous unit. On top of that, it arrives with Surveillance Station 8.2 currently and it is by far the best surveillance NAS software out there. It is trying to rock, fight up against the likes of QNAP, which is never really the same because it's just a little bit too technical, and ones from like, like Acer Store and third party apps, but the Synology one is great. It is on point. It is very user friendly, but it's still incredibly feature rich. It can, it's got faster archiving capabilities with going through pre-recorded areas. It's got a better support of cameras. It also arrives with two camera licenses for the software, which is less than the QNAP, but you can do lots of cool things with it. Uh, the device itself is far better suited to integrated security systems with constant patches and updates. The mobile phone application can turn your mobile phone into another camera if you so choose. So if you've got a need for turning a very fast deployment, your phone into a surveillance camera, you can do that if you need to very, very quickly. On top of that, you can turn your mobile phone into a live stream webcam or any of the IP cameras connected to your surveillance station. So if you need to share the content of an IP camera to the rest of the world or selected users, you can do that link only. They don't have to install anything. You can just live stream that CCTV camera and then just send the link to whoever you want to get real time access to those recorded footage, that recorded footage. On top of that, 
the Synology arrives with three years of manufacturer's warranty, SSD um, M2 uh, NVMe slot at the bottom to further improve read and write speeds, and this um, frame technology that's going into archive recordings where you can speed up archive recordings very, very quickly indeed to access and cycle through it to go through those recordings to find stuff that you need to see it simultaneously while the cameras are recording. But the reason I want to talk about Synology NAS and surveillance more isn't so much about this device. It is about this device, but it's about where that software is going. Because there is moves going forward with other NASs for something called Deep Video Analysis, DVA. And this is smarter uh, surveillance recordings. This is when the system and the CPU learns more about what it's recording and give you more tailored information so you just don't you don't just want to know when someone moves across camera you want to know if a certain person goes across camera or in the case of some of the examples that the Synology show when count uh, when a bag is left at a train station you want a system that doesn't just see that lots of people are moving you want to see that an item in this case a bag a system knows what a bag is and a bag has been left uh, you know unattended somewhere and you need an alert because simple movement dictation isn't going to help you. The same thing with a vehicle on a pavement or people coming in and out of a door. All examples that were shown at the Synology event. Now, this is where their software is going. Whether that will be supported on a device like this, I don't know. And that will be supported on the 1419 DVO, which is nowhere near release at the moment. But in terms of sheer uh, innovative nature, this their software is the best. And it's the other reason why I think the DS918 Plus is definitely a good surveillance NAS to consider buying at the end of 2018. In third place, it's from WD, the WD MyCloud Pro, the 4-bay, the PR4100. Now, it has featured on numerous other lists for things like Plex and affordability. The reason I think it's suitable for the surveillance award here for me in third place is because of the software. Now, straight, let's get it out of the way. It does not feature a first-party WD surveillance software. There isn't one. And this device does arrive with better hardware than the other two devices we talked about, with a Pentium-based CPU, 1.6 gigahertz quad-core, and four gig of memory, as well as three years of manufacturer's warranty. And it arrives with uh, hard drives pre-installed if you so choose. So it's a WD NAS that's got WD NAS hard drives that are sold at less of a cost than buying their hard drives retail. So you're getting a bargain here at 380 without the drives, and if you do add the drives, it still works out cheaper than the others. So why is it on this list other than for simple economy? Two reasons, one small, one massive. The small one is to do with redundant power supplies. Redundant power supplies are something you only really find on rack mount devices. It's when a device has two power controllers, two PSUs, built into the rear of it, both of which are plugged into mains power. And if the PSU on your device fails, because it is the second most fragile thing on any computer uh, computer appliance, the other PSU is there to take over. They're running synchronously, and if one dies, your system stays up. And in a security situation, killing the power to a building or an area, you know, by cutting wires is important. So a UPS or two independent power ports connected to this by the two PSUs that are included on this te desktop device, which is rare, is a great thing. The other reason is because of Milestone. Milestone is an award-winning, enterprise-recognized surveillance software, and it is included free with this device, along with camera licenses. Now, they did have a promo for a while where you could have loads of camera licenses, effectively infinite for as many cameras as you um, licensed and added to the system in a given period. I don't know if that promo is still in place, but I do know there's always promos with this software for you to take advantage of. Now, with that software and that hardware, this is definitely an affordable, heavy software-led enterprise solution for surveillance, even in desktop form. It does lack a lot of the bells and whistles in other apps from that, that you'd get from a NAS brand when you compare with Synology or QNAP, but in sheer affordability, robust nature, quiet operation, fast warranty support, and of course, that software in the redundant power supplier, it's a great NAS, and also the internal hardware with that CPU puts it leagues ahead of the others. So, those have been 
my top three surveillance NASs to buy at the end of 2018. If you're going to buy a NAS, visit the guys at span.com. They know their onions and they know what they're doing and they're the leader of the field on it. If you want to learn more, do subscribe to the guy, uh, to myself I should say, at NASCompares.com for reviews, comparisons, but moreover, free advice. I do give out the free advice. Just go to the form, fill it out, and I'll help you as best I can. Lastly, if you've enjoyed this video, do forget, uh, do not forget, <laughs> I should say there, don't forget to click like and subscribe to support this channel and help users like yourself and more. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.